I'm Baldwin Burgess. I am here with my friend James Beadle. How are you, James? Hi, very good. A little bit tired, but the conference is going well. It is going well, and we're at, in Hong Kong at the Asia Fund Forum 2013. Uh, we're, it's, a big, it's a big conference. Uh, we're talking about all sorts of new markets. Obviously, the focus is on Asia. But my friend James, he works uh, on the R of the BRICS. So James, you are the Russia specialist. You know everything about Russia. And you always come here to tell us about it. And your story seems to be evolving pretty well. There's a lot going on in Russia. What's, what's up? Yeah, the, the great thing about Russia is that uh, you never get tired of it because it keeps changing and it keeps evolving. And, and the big thing that's coming out in Russia at the moment is this movement towards onshore investment management. And so not only stuff like Cyprus, which is making it much more scary for Russians to keep their money outside of uh, uh, the country and changing the risk reward for doing that, but just in general, there's a, a movement towards onshore development of the market. Uh, and so both this is from foreign investors going into Russia and also for uh, Russians not taking so much money out the country. And so in the future, I think you'll see less money leaving Russia. And there's an increasing movement towards companies setting up onshore investment management businesses in Russia. And that'll manage both domestic market uh, investments and global investments as well. Right. So are you seeing, are you seeing foreign companies coming into Russia as well? But th then I think they have a challenge of the business development angle because uh, Russia, Russia is a very di different world and you have to sort of know the culture very well, do business there. What do foreign managers need to know about the place? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really tricky to work out what's the best way to go about it. And uh, I've talked to two or three large banks who are working on this problem at the moment. Uh, some of them are thinking about buying a local structure. That's difficult because Russians always want the best price they can possibly find for anything. But uh, there's also the alternative to start setting things up. And the big change really in Russia now is that it's become a lot more pro-business. So you can go in there much more easily and set up a new business now. And it really seems like the Russian government wants those new businesses to be protected and doesn't, is not going to let any corruption or anything like that touch them. So I think it got a lot easier. Mm, yeah, I, th I think you're right. I think we, we generally in the, in the emerging markets and the frontier markets, we have that. Uh, we're a little bit ahead of the perception. There's a time lag. There's a few years between reality and perception, and you're definitely in a place where things are changing. And we just still um, see Russia as it was a few years ago. I guess uh, you go there all the time, so I know you're in and out of there. So you see this like in fast forward. Right? You see this yeah. evolving very exactly. Well. It's yeah. really good to come in and see the snapshots of how things have been changing. Uh, uh, so that's really a, an impressive and reassuring story. But but you're right. And one of the themes we've been talking about here at the Fund Forum is this perception bias. Uh, and if you look at a lot of the emerging markets, they tend to be, they have more or less the same problems and the same challenges, but some of them get painted in much better light than others. Yeah. And so I think and I hope that you'll see Russia getting a much better image portrayal in the future. Yeah. Thanks, James. That, uh, that gives us an update on Russia. Thanks very much. And enjoy the rest of the forum. You too. Thank you very much.